uh, and I got you back. Um, welcome back to this uh, episode. So, I'm Leonardo Ringo, as usual, hosting for I Got You Back. And, well, actually, this is the team of I Got You Back. There's only two of us. Uh, this is Christine Noise, my wife, who's been behind the camera all this time. Say hello to the subscribers. Hi, subscribers. <laughs> so, uh, we started this channel like one and a half years ago. Just about. Right? And then uh, she encouraged me to start this channel uh, to interview uh, some photographers that we knew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for the next future, we're going to start this um, channel a little bit different. So, not just interviews, but also we're showing you our. Because we do photography as well, minor, a little bit, non-professionally. But probably once a month or once every two weeks we are out taking pictures, usually for stage, Band. bands, our friend bands, our friends' weddings. <laughs> yeah, and, and today we are in Bandung, in this uh, lovely hotel called Stevie G. I don't know what G stands for, but... It's a bit like Kenny G, isn't it? It's a big mystery. Does anyone know what Kenny G stands for? Because the G is the mysterious G. I wonder if it's the same G. Well, anyway. Okay, so we are in this hotel in Bandung. Well, basically it's in Lembang. So we're going to watch this concert later tonight. It's from a band called Ride. So we're going to take pictures there because we know some of the event organizers that, you know, held this uh, concert. So before we go there, we would like to show you guys what we use, what gear that we use to, you know, shoot some of our stage photos. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna start uh, with her gear, what she uses for tonight's concert. Are you ready? So first of all, we're gonna show our bags. Uh, okay. Let's well. Accidentally, it's color coordinated, right? I mean, we didn't plan this, but you know, it happens. So she's using a Sirui. Uh, is that how you pronounce it? Sirui. 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 It's a Korean brand. Uh, Sirui. Sirui. If it's not right, you let us know. Yeah. <laughs> and we're also gonna put the link on the, the, the description if you want to buy these bags right and this is from f-stop this is called the f-stop dalston so that's those are the bags and we're gonna start with christine's bag i'm gonna grab the camera so honey you ready i'm ready so show us what do you use for tonight so this is one of my go-to bags when I really go anywhere, even when I go to work, because it can function as a handbag as well as a camera bag. It's a soft bag, so it's squishy, as you can see. Usually I would have in the front pocket headache tablets, sometimes the wallet in the front and the back. Headache tablets. My headache tablets because Why? Uh, I, get, I get headaches. I get headaches and... They need to be close by, you know why. <laughs> and uh, loud music sometimes does it to me, although funnily enough, usually loud noises uh, at concerts don't disturb me that much. I think it's just a matter of relaxation. And then I have uh, in the bag, as you can see, also a, a second open pouch, and I usually have my phone with me, now with a lot of fingerprints, and I'm using a Xiaomi to transfer my pictures directly to the phone so I can send it and edit it directly from my phone. So let's look inside the bag. I love this zipper, it never gets stuck, ever. And uh, here you can see it's basically, it looks smaller than it actually is, so you have a camera compartment where I usually have the main body and then I attach a smaller lens. This time I have here a present that you gave me, Leo which is an Olympus 50 millimeter, 1. Point, am I right? 1.8? 1. 1.8. 1. It's a little battered, eh? It's a little battered and I did drop it. 
I did drop it just yeah, a few months that. after I got it. So I'm, I'm really sorry. This is one of my favorite go-to lenses. It's perfect for obviously taking shots, but then also for taking videos because it's got a really nice smooth move when you're trying to take videos and 50 millimeters is just a nice set also for stage photography. And we are using a OM Nex, do I call it Omnex? Uh, OM Nex uh, adapter. It's actually fairly cheap, which makes it a lot longer as you Maybe can see. Maybe you use adapter for that. Well, this is a, a Sony A7S. And I love going and uh, going to analog lenses, and this has a lot to do with my, my uh, father's obsession with analog lenses since I'm little. So I, I love analog lenses. They're, of course, a lot more affordable than the original lenses, which I wouldn't mind having too. But right now this is a great solution, and then you just can attach it to your Sony A7S. And, uh, yeah, about the body, I mean, we, we bought it about... Two years ago, is that no, right? I think it's more. A little yeah. bit more over two, three years. maybe three years ago. And before this, I was using Sony's all the time, but I love this camera because it's small, fits in all your bigger handbags, and uh, I, I love that it's low light, low light friendly, incredibly low light friendly, and uh, it takes easy pictures. After I use this camera, it's really hard for me to use anything else, but um, yeah, I just love this camera. Usually I have it on manual setting and usually have the live view on, but I do I do tend to still look through the through the viewfinder. It's just a more comfortable set. I like the framing. I just feel more confident using that. Of course, it's strange because I, I used to only take photos and uh, Leo got me into videos. So looking through the live viewfinder is a, is a new thing for me. Okay, so apart from this beautiful baby here, I have... I love, I love long lenses. I really do, and I, I think that's where we differ a little bit. I've got a loose back cap on this one, and of course another adapter uh, for this long lens. And this is a Zeiss Siena DDR lens, and it's a 3.5. 135 mil and I, I need this for stage photography and it's fantastic if you can't get that close up you want to just frame it a little bit differently with the a7s body you just get beautiful uh, pictures without having to have a tripod at all so one of my favorite lenses as well so and as you can see there's a lot of space and every time I try to find something it's difficult this is one of my backup batteries I've got another two charging inside. Usually I carry my charger with me when I travel. I use one Sony charger, but not all of our batteries are original, so we also use the Wasabi batteries that are, are great. You can use them in the same Sony charger. And uh, in the back I squeeze in my power bank. You never know when you need that. And my wallet, of course, which uh, is also present from Leo. <laughs> I think that's that's it. That's a pretty light light bag. The bag is under, I'd say it's it's easily under four kilos. Easy for a person my size to carry without breaking my back. And it's comfortable to squeeze anything in when I'm traveling and on the road as well. That's my bag for today. So now, uh, after Christine showed hers, I'm gonna show show mine. This is an as did well. Of course, you guys can see this is a backpack. Why a backpack? Because for the last maybe a couple of years, maybe a year, I've been uh, taking pictures ha uh, carrying um, like a shoulder bag or you know one of those sling bags and now every now and then after a shoot or after a concert or something I always you know have this uh, terrible pain uh, in the back of my neck so uh, this is my first attempt on trying using a backpack to go to a shoot so let's see how that works on my back so this is an F-Stop Dalston this is um, one of their uh, new products from F-Stop this is more for you know F-Stop is a brand that is uh, common for outdoor uh, backpacks, you know, if you want to hike, 
you're gonna go to the mountain, you know, you take uh, landscape photos, you usually use F-stop backpacks. But now, recently, they, 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 they came up with this product, which is more for, which, which is more dedicated for uh, urban uh, photography, you know. You can walk in town with this, and it's not heavy. It doesn't allow you to carry more than you should, right, for your, sh uh, for your photo shoot. So it's great for in the city type of photo, yeah, so you don't have to, you know, because it doesn't uh, give you the waist belt, you know. That's one of the characters for outdoor backpack. So it just, it's just uh, your shoulder pad, your shoulder straps, I mean, and also your, what do you call this, uh, a chest strap. Right? To secure, right? Hmm. To secure and also to reduce some of your tension uh, on your shoulders, of course. So, you know, it divides the weight of the bag on your shoulder and also to your chest. So this is the function. But if it's an outdoor bag, they will also give you this, uh, like a belt for your waist. So it, it divides into uh, three points, shoulders, chest, and of course your waist. But it's an urban bag. There's a compartment for you to carry your gadgets, you know, like laptops or tablets but that's not how we roll sometimes we don't carry our laptops to shoot because we don't need it and it's also you know uh, a back pain source if you carry more than you should okay this bag is a roll top bag so you roll and you top loading all your gear but because it's too hassle right you have to roll and you have to unroll if you want to get your gear but they give you two side axes from here and from the other side of course right so you don't have to unroll and get you get to your gear and you in the front there's also this document uh, compartment where you can hang your keys it's very nice and they give you this so you can just, just can carry it anywhere so when you're done with your keys just clip it in and just throw them in okay in this you have one mesh pocket you know, it has velcro in it so you can secure whatever you're putting inside in mine I put a, a think tank wallet it's for your CF cards I still use CF cards and also some of the what do you call this? This is a, a a micro SD adapter. So inside there's a there's a micro SD because I still use it for some of our cameras and also audio recorders. And yeah, I carry one, two, three, four in the camera for CF cards just to be safe. This is from Think Tank, and I put this here. And this is the lens cap and the body cap of course sealed together and extra divider the one I'm not using and over here there's another compartment if you can see here it's also uh, equipped with velcro as a security you open it and you get to your batteries in this case I brought uh, two batteries for uh, the camera that that is recording us at the moment it's a Sony RX100 and also <coughs> my DSLR our DSLR batteries which is if you can sh see from the shape it's an old camera but we're gonna see the the camera after this of course in a minute okay zip that in and it, it has this flap to secure the zipper because it's urban photography right so whenever you're caught in the rain you know you're you're, you're, you're soaked uh, the zipper doesn't have uh, like a seamless uh, rain protection so they covered the zipper with this flap it's especially great when you're using the bike right yes mm -hmm. you can ride your motorcycle you can ride your bike with it and now this is interesting 
the zipper here is seamless as you can see right to, to prevent water to get in to your uh, gear it's secured like it's super secured and this is YKK zippers I, I think yes it's YKK it's one of the strongest brand in zipper industry and it has some pullers you know because they use a small zipper so they give us this pullers you know so you can open the back close easily and they really pay attention to details they give you this rubber uh, thing in the corner and both of the corners the use of this is when you open the bag and you just use the pullers sometimes it's difficult when you have more stuff crammed inside your bag so they provide you this so you can hold it with your left hand or your you know inactive hand you can pull the zipper isn't that amazing they really pay attention to details They're good job I've stopped so okay what's in the bag is more important than the bag itself okay this is our DSLR mind you this is a very old camera this is a Canon 5D the first one you know they call it the classic doesn't have a mark in it after this broad after this type they go to mark 2 yeah, which has video feature in it and this one is not and we love the color that this camera produce because this is the I think this is the the, the type of uh, 5Ds that still use that sensor what do you call that the SS no no no, no. the CCD sensor yeah the special color and it's it's beautiful it's not a Canon lens it's a Sigma it's a 35 millimeter f 1.4 uh, of course, Canon. Uh, this is Sigma made this lens for Canon, and it's an amazing lens. You know, 1.4. You know, you can get really amazing depth of field. You know, with that. You know, people want that sometimes for their bokeh, 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 boku. What do you call that? How how do you? I would say bouquet. Bouquet, bouquet, like for flowers. Bouquet. Okay. I think we have I more. Think it's bokeh. Bokeh. Bouquet. 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 And the next one is a relatively cheap lens, and nobody likes this lens. <laughs> we do. This is a. Uh, this is very cheap. I think this is less than ninety dollars, less, like seventy bucks maybe. This is. This is the seventy-five to three hundred Canon. 75 to 300 uh, f4 to 5.6 the aperture yeah so yeah this is this is not a very good uh, lens if it's you know when you're in the dark of course the 3.5 aperture but sometimes we need the reach you know sometimes I want to shoot the drummer because you know when you're doing stage photography um, drummers sometimes they don't get exposure as much as the focus of course right but with 300 um, we can make a portrait for the drummer <laughs> while he's playing the drums and sometimes I borrow some other lenses when the stage is too dark or the lighting uh, you know setup is not that fancy uh, I borrow some of my our friends lens sometimes it's a 70 to 300 that's a good lens, but we don't have it. This cost a lot of money to buy that. Yeah, and that's for the one side, and the next, the next one has the same zipper situation here with the seamless thing, you know, and also the pullers, and also this rubber thing that you know that you use to pull the zippers. All right, and and the next one is our 85 millimeter 1.8. This is actually Christine's favorite focal length, and this is the not the L lens because we couldn't afford L lens. They're expensive. So, but this is also a great, great, superb, superb lens. 
it's 1.8 it's also good for a low light situation it you know whenever you're in a very small uh, like cafes or bars to shoot some of the bands maybe 70 to 200 is too much for you and 85 is the right focal length you know, to shoot uh, stage photography in a very clustered or what do you call that like a small environment right like a you know a bar a very small bar and then <coughs> also I got the charger for the Canon Actually, that's not the charger, that's the cable. This is the charger. And, of course, uh, sometimes we also shoot film, you know, because this is a trip. You, know, you don't want to carry your DSLR everywhere all the time. It's frustrating, so I got a film camera. This is a Freudlander Bessa uh, with a Jupiter 3 50mm 1.5 lens attached. So this camera actually uh, was given uh, by my father-in-law, Christine's uh, father. She, he gave us uh, this lens. I don't know why, but it's a beautiful camera. Uh, you know, Germany, even though it says Voigtlander Germany, but if you look at the plate, it's made in Japan. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Japan and Germany. And the funny thing about this this camera from Voigtlander, they gave you this three uh, frame line selections. You know, because this is a 50 millimeter, you of course you move this this thing here to 50, right? But if you put a 35 millimeter you have to put this to 35 and 75 millimeter and so on so it's not it's a 50 millimeter lens so the frame line this the frame line you see here can you move this to the viewfinder the camera yes does it show that's a 50 millimeter frame line i don't think so i think okay. i have to <laughs> this is a Foylander Besa R this is our film camera and oh yeah the film in it is uh triax asa 400 it's a black and white film you see that window there mm. okay triax and for backup because it's going to be a dark situation uh, we brought a portrait 100. is it gonna be a dark situation i don't know it's a stage right I mean, like it's not it's gonna be less brighter than this place, of course. This is a portrait 100, it's color film. Mm -hmm. So only one roll is back up. So I think uh, it's enough. And I still have more lenses. So you unclip this thing here. You open and you get to the roll top part, to the top. So it has two buttons to secure. You unbutton them. And inside I carry this. So if you see the inside of this bag, the inside of this bag, look, you can fit a ton in there. And it's roll top. I mean if you if you carry your stuff all, all the way up to here, it's still okay. You can just button this and then carry it along. So you have like this size you know more items you know like you're carrying two bags at the same time so it's huge but if you're not carrying anything on the top could you roll it down further or? so if it's empty like this yeah. you can roll it all the way here shall I show us it? it's smaller right yeah okay anyway in that part in that uh, empty space I carry this, this is also made by Sirui, the same as Christine's bag uh, Korean made they do good job you know, choosing fabrics zippers and all, and this is a lens well it's not lens it's a camera insert, you know sometimes people don't want to buy camera bags they just buy this stuff and just stuff it in into their backpacks you know, like 
their school backpacks, their normal bags, their normal sling bags, computer bags, laptop bags, whatever. So they just put this to carry their camera. But in this situation, I just carry two lenses. So this is one of the cheapest Canon lenses. I think this is a 50 millimeter, 1.8. They call it the Nifty 50. Right above this, they have the 51.4, and the most expensive one is the L lens. It's the 51.2, but it's difficult to purchase because we don't have that kind of money. <laughs> of course. So this is 51.8, and we got this for in rupiah in our currency. It's like 800,000 rupees. That would be now about 50 euros, yeah. 50 euros. Or 80 US dollars. This is or good. less than that, yeah. It's very cheap. Yeah, our currency is going up and down at the moment. So, and then uh, after the 50 millimeter, uh, we got the, the lens that musicians love, <laughs> we think. This is the Canon um, fisheye lens. They don't produce this anymore. It's been discontinued. We don't know why. Maybe because they launched the 8 to 15 millimeter, the L lens. But this is the, the relatively cheaper lens. It's also made by Canon. It's a 15 millimeter, uh, 2.8. It's a fisheye. Mm, it has a little bit of that curve, so you can't actually put an ND filter on top of it. Yeah, which you is cannot put anything on top. Which makes it really a lens not for me because I will scratch it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's very um, you have to guard this lens because yeah. the optic. It's quite exposed there, right? But if you're into hip hop or you're a skater, this is it. Yeah. And Great you can, lens. when you're using this lens, you can go closer to the subject without, you know, mm. that you can still be in focus and you, you can get the other personal members, the mm. other band members. And I think also special about this lens is because of its um, app, uh, because it's two point eight, right? You can um, get the similar depth of field with other 2.8 lenses, mm. even though it's a fish eye. Yeah, so that's it. Those are the gear that we're carrying, that we're bringing. It's a bit overkill for me. Hopefully I'm going to use them all tonight. I think you should. And that's why I'm <laughs> carrying a backpack, you know, to secure my back, of course, and shoulders. Alright, so that's my part. And now... Okay, we're back. And those are the gear that we're carrying for this concert, and of course, in our backpack. Uh, those weren't just the gear that I'm carrying, we also carry this. This is a, a Zoom H1, it's a microphone, you know, because the camera that we're using to record this, uh, they, Sony didn't give a input jack, jack input for a microphone, so the microphone built-in is pretty sucks. So whenever we're using this camera, I have to set up an audio microphone someplace else to record that for. So in the editing room, we're gonna sync the video and the audio file later on. And also attach, we're also carrying uh, two items here. Did you buy them separately? No. Together. It's one set, right? No, no, it's not one set. I mean, separately. I mean, yeah. yeah. So this is a Photo Pro uh, small tripod. Okay, focus. Okay. <laughs> and this, uh, this is actually a selfie stick, yeah, but we don't really use it <laughs> as, as a selfie stick. As a selfie stick. So I just use it for uh, microphones like this. So when it's attached together. Hmm. It behaves like a monopod. Beautiful. Right? And of course, we carry that camera in, the, in our bags. Uh, Sony RX100 that is quite currently recording us. And also the that thing that holds it the on gorilla this rail. Octopus. Gorilla pod. It's by pod. Joby. Mm. Alright, and that's it. Those are the gear. Hopefully this video can inspire you in any way. Yeah, and I can't somehow, wait to see somehow I doubt it, for, you know. To see results. Also in this video we will also put the photos that we shoot that we're going to shoot tonight. Right? So 
make sure you see those photos maybe at the end of this video mm -hmm. right excited to see right yeah tonight so uh, that's all from us and thank you for everybody who's been you know uh, criticizing giving comments in our previous episodes we, we appreciate that a lot mm -hmm. uh, and we will try to produce or upload more videos in the future more photographers you know more photo stuff and thank you for subscribing and for those of you who you know just you know visit this channel only through this video why don't you subscribe and if you like the video just kind of give you a click the thumb button there under the screen and thank you for subscribing and thank you for liking of course and I'm Leonardo Reno and I'm Christine Gnois with you on the next episode of I Got Your Bag. Bye-bye.